Hi, welcome to Beverly Hills Cosmetic Plastic Surgery. I am going to be having liposuction today. So I have a couple different areas. I've always had kind of larger arms, so he's going to liposuction back here and kind of around my waist and the lovely love handle area and kind of around my outer thighs a little bit. So it's kind of the contour of those areas where I have a little bit more padding. The interesting thing about Katie is that she's one of my employees and I've known her for over four years. We've worked together for a long time and she's probably the last person that I would have thought that would have actually been interested in liposuction just because she's been seeing thousands of patients come and go and since she's been working with me pretty much exclusively for the last several months I think she's seen that I have many patients who are very satisfied, very happy with their results. Getting to see his patients, getting to see how he interacts with his patients, seeing his surgeries before and after, I feel very comfortable with him. I mean it is a very private surgery and it is very kind of intimate because you're, you're, you know, you've got to have that trust, you've got to have that bond. I like it because I've had the opportunity to be around him for years and, and I've seen him in the operating room, I've seen him with his patients before and after, so I'm comfortable with him being my doctor, very much so. Katie, we performed a liposuction of the abdominal area, uh, the waist, the lower back, the arms, and then the inner and outer thighs. We first started by addressing her abdominal area, and that for her was, I think, one of her primary concerns. We initially did that, and then when we addressed sort of the flanks or the love handle area and the lower back, we actually turned her completely on her side so we could really get to her lower back, really give her some semblance of a waist and somewhat of a shape. That takes a little longer, but I think it's really an important thing for any patient who wants to really address this area well. And it also allows us to kind of see how the skin sits, how the tissues fall, because when they're laying flat, I mean, you can be fooled. And when I do liposuction, I take it very seriously, and I want to make sure that we're seeing everything from all true angles that would be sort of replicated when someone is standing up. You can see we've kind of given her an arch to her lower back, and then it transitions into the buttock area. And, you know, that's what a lot of women want. In her case, because we were doing multiple areas, some areas that were a little more difficult than others in terms of the fat being of more fibrous, thicker quality, we thought we'd use a power-assisted liposuction approach. With the power-assisted cannula, the actual machine provides uh, vibrations for the, for the cannula, so it actually mechanically breaks up the fat. And in terms of end results, I think they're better because there's less surgeon fatigue, it's much easier to extract fat in difficult areas, and it also minimizes bruising because there's less in and out with a cannula. With one pass, you could more efficiently extract more fat cells than with a non-power assisted cannula. The results just keep getting better and better and better, which is nice because I knew that that was kind of the progression of it. So I finally got to the point where it became Fourth of July weekend, and that was like my turning point where I was just ready. I actually put a bikini on, walked the strand, and I was I was pretty confident at that point. So it's really actually a fun experience. I'm so glad I did it. Pretty much all her swelling is gone. I think there's maybe a little more to go, but 95% of it is gone. She looks great. What's nice though, when prospective patients call. She can one, show them results, or two, even talk to them on the phone. And it's one thing to have seen all these procedures, but to actually have gone through it, you can actually empathize with the patient. And what you're saying is actually correct. And if someone's telling you something, it's, it's one thing, but if they've actually had it done, then there's some credibility there. Oh my God, you look great. You really shrunk up a lot. Mm -hmm. I would definitely do it again. I, I have no hesitation saying that. Even though there's pain afterwards, even though I went through my time where I was swollen, I would easily do this again, just because I feel so much more comfortable now and looking back, I kind of almost wish that maybe I would have thought about doing it sooner. Dramatically, there's a huge change in my clothing. Dramatically, there's a huge change when I put on a swimsuit. And I feel it as well, like even just the way that my body feels right now, it's a lot tighter. I don't have those little insecurities, like even like, for example, when I bend over, I don't have that bunch on the side, or we usually sometimes have like that little love handle. After the surgery was done, I had so many people ask me how much weight I had lost and what I was doing. And, and out of nowhere, people were like, oh, you look really good. I've always been pretty social and I've always kind of had like a confidence behind me. Now it's kind of like a little little boost there. It reassures me that again, I, I, don't, I don't sit a certain way. I don't have the pillow sitting on my stomach. I don't you know, do certain things like that now. Now I'm pretty comfortable just being me.